Welcome back to Bay Area Focus. From bike safety to pollution prevention, Cycles of Change teaches Oakland students all kinds of critical skills. Sean DeLizo and Eugene Kang will tell us exactly how. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Tell me about the mission for uh, Cycles of Change. Um, well, Cycles of Change is, is a group of um, bicycle educators uh, who really believe in, in bikes as a way to um, transform people and help people make connections with each other and the land around them. Um, it's also um, a way to, uh, <laughs> it's also a way to. Um, well, the bike community is huge, right? Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah, you, the bike community is huge here in the Bay Area. And so you guys are encouraging people to ride a bike instead of maybe take a car, right? Right, so we offer a variety of different kinds of programs. Um, we started in 1998 um, at Roosevelt Middle School where um, uh, people just took like dozens of, of middle schoolers out on these amazing, epic outdoor, outdoor adventures. And um, these programs be, became more popular and so slowly we started to expand and now we're doing, we offer programs from K through adult um, and, uh, and offer programs throughout the East Bay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, what is it about riding a bike then versus, you know, a car or being on a bus? I think for us, uh, one of the big things is that a lot of the communities we work with uh, don't necessarily have the resources to drive a car or to own a car. Uh, so we really want to use um, bicycles as a resource for these people mm. uh, to, you know, further empower themselves and be able to use this as a feasible means of transportation. Um, and also for their very livelihood. We work with a lot of youth that we train through our programming uh, that then go on uh, to work in our programs as well. Okay, so do you do a lot of outreach or are people coming to you? How does it work? How does your program work exactly? Um, a little bit of both. Um, we have a community bike shop called The Bikery where um, we are in the neighborhood where, we, where a lot of the schools that we work in are, in are located. So we have a lot of folks in the community who come through. We also outreach to different schools um, and um, a lot of word of mouth is spread. Okay. Yeah, through young people. And you guys actually have a program where you can earn a bike, I believe? Mm -hmm. Is that true? It's true, yeah. Okay, um, well, I want to be part of it. Tell me how. <laughs> <laughs> Come on down. So the bikery, um, located on 23rd and International, um, we have a, a, a earn a bike program where young people can come in and learn how to work on bikes, and they, in return, um, they get a bike of their own to build up, and then they get to keep it at the end of the program. And wow. it's, it's youth-led, so... Um, young people who had previously taken that program are now paid staff and teach that program and pass that on. Okay, and you guys talked about how you have a wide variety of programs, and these are some pictures from those programs. Tell me what we're seeing here. Oh, this is one of our Earn a Bike programs um, at Bret Hart Middle School, uh, where we uh, teach young people how to work on bikes. Um, they, we have that Earn a Bike program, and we also take young people on rides throughout um, the East Bay area. And right here, somebody's spray painting a bike, right? Yeah, also part of our earn a bike program, um, building a, a scraper bike there. Um, what's been really cool about the earn a bike program is people can, the young people really have a chance to express themselves and kind of put their own sort of flair to their bikes. And this looks like a race, no, yeah? Yeah, so this is one of the programs we do through our uh, bike rodeo program, okay. uh, where we teach younger participants, typically uh, kindergartners through fifth graders, um, how to learn different skills before they get out on the road. So what's happening here is uh, these young people are participating in a slow race, as we call it, uh, where they are learning to keep their balance at uh, manageable speeds and also how to brake instantly, just in case uh, they're out on the road and uh, something like a squirrel comes in their way uh, so they can do that. Uh, that's important to, to learn safety on the roads, right? We see a lot of accidents happening every day. Definitely. And what is this? I don't see any bikes in this picture. Oh, this is one of our trips. Um, a big part of our of our after school program, um, our after school bike clubs, is going to different areas in our community. Um, and this is a community garden that we visited, um, and we had a little talk with uh, the care the caretakers of the garden, and kind of learned about the things that grow there and how that's a true community garden that. Um, people built from the ground up out of an empty lot. Okay, so yeah, that's what I want to touch on is that, you know, it's called Cycles of Change, and we talk about bicycles all the time, but it's not really just bicycles. You guys also talk about pollution. Talk about that. Right. Um, you know, we, we definitely do uh, encourage bicycling as a uh, form of transportation to, you know, uh, 
move away from the impact that we make on uh, the environment around us. One of our programs that we do is a watershed program where we connect youth uh, with the environment around them and teach them you know, what kind of footprint we do leave and um, how we interact with our environment around us and uh, try to teach them this uh, for future generations so that uh, you know, we can lessen that impact. Okay, so you guys um, are uh, centered in, in Oakland, right? Mm -hmm. And so any student can come to you guys, can come to your bike shop and say, hey, I wanna be part of this program, maybe earn a bike, you guys can teach me safety skills out on the road, or does the high school need to be part of the program already? How does it work? We do offer high school internships for local um, youth, but we, the the bikery is open to everybody. It's really supposed to be, like our intention is to be an accessible resource, especially for folks who might not always have access to biking resources, like, um, like low-income communities of color. Sure. Yeah. And then one last question for you. What if you're scared to be out on a bike in the city? <laughs> do you get that question a That's lot? That's real, yeah. Definitely. Uh, we do have a lot of uh, in-school bike education programming uh, where we work with a lot of young people that do not know how to ride bikes yet and it's their first time out on the street. And uh, we take them out with 40 of their peers uh, in order to teach them how to ride safely on the street. And one of our most gratifying parts of the job, at least for me, is that uh, we get to see them go from you know, being very wobbly on the bike and just learning how to pedal uh, to being able to sustain themselves and be able to uh, take themselves to far places miles away from their school. All right, yeah. sounds good. You guys, it sounds like you guys are expanding the bike community. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you, Sean and Eugene. And for more information on Cycles of Change, log on to cyclesofchange.org. That's cyclesofchange.org. And coming up, health services and outreach programs empowering San Francisco women.